All right, troops, we are Vampy here. We are back with Burnhouse Lane. Yes, I am invisible. This is because I'm no well. I've got the cold and I thought it would be better maybe I'd be off cam rather than use having to watch me constantly blow and wipe my nose because <laughs> it's no sexy whatsoever. So um, I'm going to be off cam for this, which sometimes for Burnhouse Lane, I think it's a bit better because I end up covering up half a character, so. We were the cat, that's right. Um, and we're heading to go and get help for Angie. Um, so, I really hope um, that we can save Arnold in this. That's what I'm hoping. Um, because it would be good to be able to save Arno. Well, we can jump really high, but then again, we are a cat, so... Jump, cat. That's it. Any of your shenanigans? I thought, am I gonna die? No but probably will here. Okay. We survived! Yay! Jump, jump, cat. Cat, jump, jump. Yeah, that's it. Jump. Do that whole thing, cat, stay. Jump. So how are everybody's doing well? I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video for a while and that I haven't managed to get the last um, Legacy of Cain Defiance video out. It's just that I've not been, I've not been very well and um, last week was the anniversary of my dad passing away so it wasn't a very good week for me. Um, so I am back now, uh, obviously getting better and we'll start resuming games again. So, hopefully, we will get somewhere in this game. <laughs> Let's go see where I'm at. If you hear background noise, guys, it's really early in the morning here. Um, and my mouse is out eating and he is super, super, super loud when he eats. Like, really loud for some reason. For a tiny, tiny mouse, he sure knows how you make noise. Hello, what the hell is that? What is that meant to be? That's very, very strange. Okay. Now, I recognise this, even though it's been a while since I played this, I do recognise this area. This was called the Burned Woods, I think. So maybe we're close to getting to the cabin, hopefully. Why are we getting a close-up, Amy? I hope that's not because I'm about to die. Oh! I shouldn't have said that. taking it we need to try and get in for the top because obviously we're a cat so let's try 
All right, let's just jump up here. That was so much easier. Yay! Oh, it's Jenny. I told her not to go. There's no way we can find her now. And let's face it, she is probably already dead. Which is unfortunate because I liked her. She was nice. I liked her. <laughs> what if it's not too late? We can't just leave her there all alone. Let me explain it again. These woods are dark. <laughs> it would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Oh, there's gotta be a way. Maybe, if we had a tracking dog. Or a tracking cat? Or... A cat? <laughs> Hi there. Hi there. How did they even know that that cat was going to lead them to Angie? I can't believe we are following a stray cat through the That's woods what I just said. in the middle of the night. Stop whinging. Yeah, exactly. You really you feel don't. like it's leading us somewhere. So I wonder if Jenny's going to be a really good character, as in I really am playing our own. This bog stinks. Like a of really death. good friend. Really? To Angie. To me, it just stinks like shit. Well, yeah, that too. Death and shit. A popular combination. Oh wow! That was quick. This is it, <coughs> the Green Family Manor. Most people think it's just a legend, but it's really here. Great. But take it down a notch, man. Yeah. Could you? Calm down, Norman. Remember the dead girl in the cave? Yes, but don't worry. I've got this. Yeah, you think so? Well, you keep saying that, but I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't trust them either, Jenny. That shit was fucked up. Yes, I agree. But unlike her, I know what I'm doing. I don't see you carrying any weapons. That worries me slightly. We don't need weapons. Just stay back and let me do the talking. It would have really bothered me the fact that Arnold just didn't bring a gun, knowing everything that he knows about this bolt or grain, just as backup, just in case his plan did not work. It's really you. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Hi there, Walter. How are you? Uh, great. Oh. Do not be alarmed. I come as a friend, so please, hear me out. My name is Arno, and I'm your biggest fan. Oh my god. I know everything about you. I even know... your secret. The thing no one else knows. But that's okay, because it's safe with me. I just... I really admire you, and I understand that you have done all these horrible things for a reason. I came all this way to tell you something important. Something that will change everything. Walter... I... Um, okay. No! Don't! Stop it! Right now! Arno? Shit! Jenny, just do your thing. Let's find Angie and get the fuck out of here. That's a good plan. Do that. Just, just do that. I wonder why I didn't kill Angie right away. Jenny? What are you doing here? Returning the favor? You're lucky the key was still in the lock. There's no time to talk. We should get the fuck out of here, Angie. Yeah. Let's go. I wonder if uh, that's the only reason Jenny came. Like, oh, you helped me, so I'm helping you. Now we're even sort of thing. Or if it was, like, another reason. Is that Arno? We can't save him. A big pile of muscles will shred us to bits if 
if we go back there. But maybe I can talk him out of this. I know your secret, Walter. Or should I say, Sheila? Yeah, you're a girl, all right. Sure, you pump iron and you eat raw meat out here in these woods. But I think I know why I've done all this. What? Oh no. This is your dad. It's because of your father, isn't it? You loved him and wanted to be like him. I bet it was him that taught you how to fight, and how to survive. You two must have had a very special bond indeed. That's why you couldn't accept his death. You couldn't move on. Oh, was that one? But then you discovered magic. black magic, and you tried to bring him back. For years you killed people, not because you got a kick out of it, but because you needed to make sacrifices for your dark ritual. Except... It was to no avail. Walter Green's bones gather dust in the coffin upstairs and no amount of spilled blood will ever bring him back because Walter's gone. And he is never coming back. Oh, you made her sad. Um. You saw me put that flower on Walter's coffin. You know why I did it? It was to honor a dead man. A soldier. A father. To show him the respect he deserves. Now, I didn't know him in life, but I never judged those who've passed away. We're all equal in death. Deep inside, you're hurting. But I know you don't want this. We are not your enemies. Um. Now, stand down, soldier! Did we save Arnold? Did, did, did Move we... out of the way, nurse! Oh no, no. The cavalry's arrived. Oh. Do we kill him or not? Don't shoot him. Sorry, nurse. I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. So I guess the clues for past conversations kind of helps you pick what to say. I always knew my elephant gun would come in handy one day, but never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that it would be the legendary Walter Green himself that I shoot with it. <laughs> it was Sheila Green that you shot. Her dad Walter didn't have anything to do with this. He's been dead for a long time. For reals? No, you shot her a woman. father? That's amazing. I killed a woman? Yeah. Damn. Feels bad. That's why she woman or not, to shoot. she was a merciless killer. These woods will be safe for now. All thanks to you. I wouldn't be so sure. What? Still. I'm glad I was there to witness the death of a legend. Death of a... Hey, that's gonna be the perfect title for my book. Just so we're clear, I refuse to have my name mentioned in it. Why? You are a hero. You went to the dark woods at night to look for your friend, and ultimately you saved her from a gruesome death. You shouldn't have risked your lives for me. Maybe... What if I was supposed to die in that house? Don't say that. Why would you even think like that? I have cancer. First time anyway. I just told them my choice, of you? course. What? No way. You're shitting us, right? I wish I was. You've all put your necks on the line for someone who's one foot in the grave already. Why wouldn't we? You've been so nice to me. Damn. I don't know what to say. 
There is nothing to say. Let's get back to the farm. I bet George is up already. So it's like... Someone's got to make him a sandwich. Arnold just part of the gang now. <laughs> what about the new guy? Yeah. Me? What about me? Where are you going, Arnold? You want to come to the this? farm with us? There's a room you can have, and, and I know George won't mind. He likes new people. Oh, yeah. George is cool. Hmm. That would be nice, I suppose. But... Is that all right with you, Angie? Yeah, sure, Arno. You might as well stay with us. We'll be delighted to have you. Why not? Why not? Let's just have another person move out and move in. I mean, we've already got about a million cats with us. Chapter 4. Bloody Mary. Oh, it's a woman! Well, that was a woman, but we didn't know it was a woman, but you know what I mean. You guys, go ahead. I'll join you in a minute. Okay, but try not to upset any more serial killers. Try my best. At least not before breakfast. No, of course. <laughs> but it's such a nice morning. I just want to enjoy it for a moment and collect my thoughts. Sure. See you later then. And don't step in a sheep's poo! Those are well-trained sheep. They don't shit in the garden. <laughs> What are we doing, Angie? What are we doing? You can come out now, little friend. I know you've been following me. Another cat. What's that? A name tag? Let's see. Miller. Nice name. Miller. Where's your owner, Miller? Are you lost? Well, you're welcome to stay if you want. What's your power, There's Miller? always room for one more cat. So, Miller, reanimate and control a fresh corpse. Wow. Okay. Do you know, I'm just thinking, it was lucky I didn't use the two Mr. Grey that I had, because if I didn't find the cat in the first chapter, I wouldn't have two, and I'd already used one. We would never have been able to save Arno, I don't think. Okay, let's go inside. Are we going inside now? We're going to meet our pals. Is George here? Wow. Um, wow, George. Someone's popular today. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> the cats, just look at them. They adore you. Cats? Oh, yes. These furry rascals are rather lovely, aren't they? Sarah mentioned something about cats not being allowed inside. Really? Well, she's always preferred dogs. But don't worry, we can keep the cats a secret. Kieran won't say anything to her either. And Jenny, well, ladies like her never stay long. She'll probably be gone before next Sunday. True story, bro. Hey, uh, you're not heading towards the kitchen by any chance, You want a sandwich? Yeah. You hungry? No. Oh, you wouldn't mind a nice sarnie? Yeah. Right. I'm on it. Let me get you a nice sarnie. I love George, and I think the fact that the cats are all around George tells me that George isn't a bad guy in this, which is good, because it would... Kill me if they made George, like, secretly an evil guy. Right, let's prepare a meal for George. Okay, bread. Um, um, mustard and bread. He, I think this is, like, his favourite or something. Ham and mustard sandwich. 
pick the sandwich. Where did the everybody go anyway? What? <coughs> what the heck? What the heck? It's not a nice sandwich now. I take it this will be our next mission then, that he's, um, he's wanting us to tell us about. Whoa! That's a whole lot of us. Oh my god. Oh, that is, that is horrific. It's horrible. Oh, it's just about not a charge for it. Break that down with an axe, that one. Where are we gonna find an axe? Well, I'll take it, I need to go back. Any of you's got an axe on you that I've maybe missed? Any axe? Hello? Oh, there's one. <clears throat> Come on, Angie, you can do it. <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's go. Excuse me, passing through. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Oh, wrong, wrong door. That door's open, Jen. Are you... What? Oh, is this one I can run through? What's the axe for, then? Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Oh, no, it isn't one I can... I guess I wasn't standing in the exact spot. It confused me. Okay. Can we... Can we just... Thing me it down then? No. Okay, someone has a key. Do you have a key? Can I knock you down? Hey, I can. <laughs> All right, we have a key. That was like being a Five Nights and playing Five Nights at Freddy's then. It's got a lion on it by the looks of it. Well, that was dark. Okay, let's go back and we can open that door. Okay, <clears throat> key. Oh, we've still got George's sandwich here. I'm really enjoying this game. It's really good. Then again, I have loved every single one of the the Harvester games. Oh, it's him. I was like, what is that? It's, it's cat's eyeball. Hello, bird cat. You're big. You look bigger today. Yeah. Do I? Perhaps it's because I'm so proud of you. Two tasks completed already. Well done, Angeline. Cheers, mate. You're really doing it. Hmm. I suppose I am. Thanks. But why am I here again? That's how things work on Burnhouse Lane. Once you find it, you can never really leave it. Am I dead? Did I choke to death coughing? Is that it? No. You're here because it's time for your third task. But I've only just finished the last one. Yeah, well, You right. don't have a lot of time, Angie. You know that. Fine. What do you want me to do now? You must go to the nearby town of Honiton. There's a woman there named Mary Willis. She lives in a house on the far side of town, away from prying eyes. Once, she was on the front pages of all the local newspapers. Now, most have forgotten she even still exists. See, Mary used to 
used to be a nurse. A phlebotomist. One day her colleagues caught her stealing blood bags. She was secretly stashing them in the trunk of her car so she could take them home. Mary lost her job, but did not go to jail. Instead, she spent a couple of years on the psychiatric ward, treated for schizophrenia. Okay, okay. <clears throat> but what's that got to do with me? You will enter Mary's house and spill a drop of blood into her meal. Then, you must make sure she consumes it. Okay. Why? Because blood is where your sickness lives. If you want to cure it, you must first share it with someone else. Someone horrible, like Mary. But won't that kill her? No, it's just part of the ritual. The only meaning it has is symbolic. How do I make her drink it, though? She loves all blood. She'll love yours, too. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. You'll see. Now, go back before poor old George starves to death. I know, you always take me away but when I... I'm doing stuff for George. No. Quiet now. Listen. Be still, and let the darkness take you back into your world. I would let the burnt cat tell me a story for hours. I love his voice. <coughs> Angie, stop it. Stop dying. Angie? Angie? It's the cancer, isn't it? No, it's just a cough. <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. Is there... something I can do? Um... Yeah, I could use a friend. But, you know, I'll understand if you need to go. This desolate farm isn't really the right place for someone like you. Actually, George has told me there's a spare bedroom upstairs. I can have it, if I want. Oh yeah? This place is exactly what I need after everything I've been through. So I'm gonna take him up in his offer and stay for a while. The thing is, I've done some fucked up shit. <laughs> and I don't even mean the vicar. It's a lot of things I kind of fucked up. And uh, I could also use a friend, Angie. Oh, okay. Let's be friends together. There's just uh, one problem: the room. Well, it's uh, locked, and neither George nor Kieran knows what happened to the key. Maybe you've seen it. I don't know. I've seen a lot of keys. Yeah, true. What does it look like? It's a. Uh, Yellow, and it apparently has a, a lion engraved on it. Oh, we have that key. A lion? Yeah, we have that key. I think that's the word Kieran used. I honestly can't understand what he's saying half the time. I'll let you know if I see it. We, we have it. We already have it, don't we? Yeah, they're upstairs. So where, where's her room? And we'll go up and open it for her. Oh no, let's give a, him a sandwich first. Sorry, I keep getting moved away. Here's your sandwich. Alright. Yeah, he likes his sandwich. Okay, let's go and open this door for Jenny. She's got... That's my room, isn't it? Is it this one? Yeah, it must be this one. Here we go. You found the key? I didn't realize that I've had it on me all along. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Shall we go in? No. Don't ask me, it's your room. One of the 
perks of being an actress is that I always stay in five-star hotels, wherever I go. They have those fancy bathrobes and mint chocolates waiting for you on the pillow. Sometimes they even do room service for pets. <laughs> What'd you imagine? You can order a poached fucking salmon for your fucking chihuahua if that's something that floats your boat. But this house and this room, they're just so much better. In what way? No one's pretending anything here. This shit is real. So are the spiders. <laughs> just wait till you find one. I don't mind spiders. This place is... Oh, exactly what I need in my life right now. Jenny, are you sure it isn't your near-death experience that's making you see things through rose-colored glasses? Because let's face it, this house is a bit shit. <laughs> I don't care. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Well, in that case, enjoy. I have a little errand to run in Honiton. So I'll see you later, I guess. I hope this errand doesn't involve any serial killers again. Maybe. In Honiton. Please. The only thing that's capable of killing you in that dead little town is boredom. Sure. I... I didn't mean to patronize you. <laughs> I just... <sighs> Be careful, yeah? Okay, so I really hope... Jenny's gonna stay nice as what she is. I hope we're not gonna find out later on. What is this pound coin for? Who knows, maybe it'll bring me luck. Okay. So, we're going to Honorton. Honorton. see anybody else? Should we speak to anybody else before we go? Like, like where the hell is Arnold and all that? Where is all the other people? Where's Kieran? I'm just gonna have a peek, guys, just to see where everybody has disappeared to. If anybody's in here. This is, this is the other spare room they were talking about. Room, isn't it? Is that George's room? Or George's room? Yeah, it's George's room. Ah, Arnold's on. You alright? Thought it was working. Oh, yes. I'm just trying to find the right words to describe the events of last night on my fan page. Of course. This will be quite a shocker to a lot of Walter's fans out there. Well, in that case, I won't distract you. I'll see you later, mate. See you later, mate. So, might have known that Arnold would be playing about on the computer. This is a toilet. Yes. Alright. Take it, Kieran's probably at his usual spot. Which is his caravan. Alright. He's good. I think I need to go to the front because I need to use my car, right? Oh, there's Kieran. Hey, nurse! Where are you off to? Honiton. Shopping? Not really. I was actually gonna give some blood. You know. Oh, like to, uh, to save lives and stuff. Yeah, that's right. To save a life. Is that the conversation? All right, see you later. Let me get in my green car and drive to Honiton. <laughs> ah, great. Looks like a big storm is coming.
I was going to say, have you not got an umbrella? I better go on foot from here. I don't want to alarm Mary by pulling up in front of her house. Yes, that would be a bit weird. Oh, fish and chips. Maybe when I'm done with Bloody Mary, I should bring some fish and chips home for George, Jenny, and Arnold. And Kieran, I suppose. Oh, you like Kieran. Stop, stop, stop your nonsense. He's your pal. Oh, save me, save me. I just did all of that, guys, and I didn't even say that. Like an idiot. I should have. Right, so. Oh my god. There's a red balloon and a little boy wearing a yellow rain jacket. Is that Georgie from it? And this is Pennywise's balloon. This just needs to say dairy on the back. Hello. Kid. I've never been a mum. Can't say I understand kids. I guess I never will now. Oh! Yes. Alright. Okay. Kids are weird that way. They, straight away they're like, oh, a puddle, I'm going to jump in it. And you're like, no! Big commercial building like this going to waste, waiting for someone to rent it. But the business isn't exactly booming around here, is it? It's not. Look at the back of that car. It looks like it's got blood stains on it, like somebody's backed on top of somebody. Is this where the local piss heads gather for a drink? The number of empty bottles surrounding the place would suggest that. Okay. Snapped in half like a twig is bloody made of that strong. Do you know what's wrong? Looks like the local kids scribbled something on the sign. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. This must be Mary's house. There's a light in the window on the top floor. That's good. If she's up there, it should be easier for me to sneak in. Okay. Open the door. It's locked. Right. It's, uh, no old house is complete without a rough deal fence like this one. Can we, like, sneak in the back? Yeah, in the backyard. Sounds like a better, better plan. Well, locked as well. Zaman, dark and shine. Oh, hello, oh, Moonlight. Hello, Moonlight. Can I call you that? Did you follow me here? To Honiton? Really? Boy, you're gonna wish you didn't. I have a nasty feeling that nothing good's waiting for us here. But, since you're already here... Will you help me again? Let's break inside this shitty old house and give Bloody Mary her medicine, shall we? Okay. So we are the cat again, just to help Angie get entrance. So, hold on. Take it, we're going to be climbing up this pipe and the only reason I say that is because there's barbed wire there so I'm not going to be able to climb up on that. Okay, so, yep. Alright. I think we need to try and get this to fall by the looks of it. It's a bird! Hello, bird. Ooh, okay, Bloody Mary. Um. Bird, move. Making a noise. Shut up. I fell. Yeah, I know. I, I, I get it. I, I do. I do. I do. I get it. Trust me. I get it. Let's 
try and get on top. Oh, why am I not able to jump up there on that? There we go. Took me a while. Up there. And then I fell. <laughs> All right. Okay. Great. Yeah, I just want to fall down here. There we go. Whee! That doesn't look good, does it? Can I get in here? What is here? Anything? Is there anything here? No? Why would I be able to go here then? Hmm. It's weird that it lets you in there though, right? Okay, well, let's go down here then. Yeah, cat doesn't like getting wet. We know. We're sorry. I'm trying. Okay. I hope the cat doesn't die. Because this looks like, you know. It looks like a stealthy stealthy, guys. And if I don't stealthy stealthy it, the cat's going to die. Oh, save the spot. But obviously for Angie, not for the cat. Oh, we're going up. Okay. Oh, can we open certain doors? Okay, well that's not opening. Just running about this house and I don't know where this person is. Soup or something, you know, from the door? No, okay. <coughs> Alright. I guess we're going up then, guys. Okay. I'm so scared. This person's just suddenly gonna jump out on me. Turn, jump. All right. This one doesn't work. No. Huh? Weird. Jesus. You shouldn't be here. Run away, amigo. Run away while you can. Okay. I can't open any of these doors. Oh, well, thanks. This does not look good at all. Is this a hiding spot? Because it's very dark. Shit, 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 hide. Tied from Mary, little fella. Oh, in fact, here I can try and run past her quickly. Oh shit! 
You stinking little carpet pooper. I'm not having another bleeding cat sneaking up in here. Oh my god, she killed Moonlight. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, Angie's pissed. Fucking bitch. Oh, you're a dead woman. Angie's gonna rip you a new a-hole. Gonna go down to the basement because I think that's where um pretty sure that's where I at the save point. Yeah boys. I can't believe she killed. She killed Moonlight. I'm not happy. Okay. Ha right, we need to find something. We also need to speak to that guy. Oh, we have hiding spots. Okay. Okay, so we have hiding spots like everywhere. suspect anything. What is this? Examine. An uncovered pot of vegetable soup is simmering on the stove. It looks pretty nasty and smells even worse. Is that her style? I feel like... I feel like that she's definitely not gonna... That's not the type of thing that she's gonna eat. There are piles of dirty dishes here and a big pot full of gross stuff that oddly reminds me of black pudding. I love black pudding. When I <clears throat> came here and I um, obviously was craving Scottish food, um, my wife found a place that does like um, square sausage, black pudding, potato scone, all the kind of Scottish stuff. And uh, we went there and it was the first time she'd ever tasted black pudding. She was like, nope, <laughs> it's not for me. Okay, so there's a heart in this one. So we have a brain. Oh, okay. So I can't carry it in my hand. So I need something to pick these things up. Oh god, the door stuck. Okay, so I haven't been able to pick either of these things up for the simple reason of... Um, I just did check the ground floor. Did you not see me? I'm here, look, checking and of everything. I feel like I checked everything. Did I not check everything? Yeah, there's a brain in there and I can't pick it up. Yeah, so, yeah. I feel like we checked everything in here. Maybe I'm supposed to interrupt with this and say add on blood. Okay, right, adding blood to Mary's soup is definitely the way to go, but I need something sharp to cut or stab my finger. Shit, why didn't I think of that before? Yeah, Angie, why didn't you? Fuck, not a single knife in sight. How the hell does she do all her cooking in here? Right. Can we go upstairs now, hopefully? So we'll leave that opened. Let's go up here. What the fuck? 
is that? Does that say Jeremy on there? Normally you'd expect a dog the size of a German Shepherd eaten from a bowl like this. But this one clearly belongs to this horrible looking pig. The name Jeremy is written on the side. Is that what the pig's called? Ooh. Okay, he's not trying that. Is that what she's using the blood for? To feed this thing? I mean, they do say pigs eat anything, but Jesus. Okay. It's downstairs. Let's go in here. Look at us just randomly walking about the place. Oh, there's a newspaper. We could probably use that to pick up the um, brain and that. What's this? Take a page. Okay, let's read it. 9 a.m. Jeremy breakfast Weetabix plus bottle. 1 p.m. Jeremy lunch chicken liver and something. Um, 3 p.m. Dra dra draining. Oh, her end's not working. So it's chicken liver and bananas, and then it's 3 p.m. draining. 6 p.m. Jeremy's dinner, brain and plus heart. 7 p.m. Feed idiot vegetable soup. So that soup is not. That soup is not for her. It's for the guy. 9 p.m. Cuddle time. All right. So. This is where we were, wasn't it? This is where the cat died. Yeah. All right. Woo! All right, let's um... Let's go downstairs and get the heart and that. So I'm taking it, what we need to do um, is change the, the clock that's upstairs and uh, change it to a time where she needs to come downstairs and take her, yeah I'm sorry, take her. I still can't close this, can I? Because it's stuck. Yeah, it's not good. And what I'm going to do, I'm also going to go down and save it because I do not want to have to be sticking around the way here. We'll go up and we'll maybe change it to something. Um, I'll, I'll check the paper again and see what's the best time. I don't know what time it is just now. Oh, I will know what time it is because I'll see the clock. Um, what is this? So maybe I put it to 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. or whatever. We will work it out, guys. Probably 6 p.m. would be better, but we'll see. We'll see what time it is just now because if it's going to be too far, then she's going to be like, no, that's not right. Say something's missing. Oh, we need something then. It's not working. Let's go and give the uh let's go and give the pig the food. Eat your dinner, Jeremy. Jeremy? I really need to put both in. Right, now say to him. Oh, yeah, he's just a greedy fit. 
You are a fat, disgusting pig. Literally. You and your cat-killing fucking missus both deserve each other. Okay, Angie. What is this? This shaft seems to run down to the basement. It's crazy, but I think she'd really built it to shovel out the pig's excrements that way. Oh god, it must stink in there. Alright. So, what is this? Salmon desk, lots of corny trinkets, porcelain pigs, Mary really obsessed with them, but why? Um... Let's see, look inside box. Oh, yes! Now we can do the whole key thing. Is that all now that we've picked it up? Seems to be. Okay. So let's go... I'm gonna go down. And then we can set the clock. Um, well, the clock says three o'clock just now, but the clock is also stopped. Yeah, I have it. Alright, so now, so let's set the clock. Um, let's set the clock to six, six. Um, that was five past six. Yeah. For Jeremy's dinner. I need to hide. I need to hide. Let me hide. Jesus Christ. Ooh. All right. Okay, come on. No, come out. All right, let's go and speak to this guy here. Oh my god! Hello there, Angel. Oh. I've been waiting for you. Have you? Um. Sorry. I wasn't aware there was someone waiting for me. I would have come sooner. Oh, don't worry about it. Now that you're closer, I don't think you are who I took you for anyway. And who was that? It was... I don't even know. Someone else. It doesn't matter. Look at me. How could anything still fucking matter? Yeah, yeah. Did she do this to you? I mean, that's pretty obvious well, that she did it to him. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. But well, why? One day, I went for the pig. Oh. I tried to strangle it. But she didn't get a I wanted to random. beat that fucker's fatly face into a pulp. See, you can't defeat Mary without killing the pig first. I mean, um. you can try, but it's like punching a concrete wall. It just ain't gonna work. So, she amputated your limbs as punishment for attacking her pig? But that's not even the worst part. She made me watch. I'm sorry. It's fine now. I've accepted my fate. I'm just a dead man waiting for my angel to take me home. Okay. What's the deal with the pig? That fucking pig. They share a bond, they do. She loves the pig, and the pig loves her. But there's more to it. It's almost as if that bastard is the source of her power. Okay. She bottle feeds the pig with the blood she drains from my body. And in return, I know it's crazy, but that damned animal makes her strong as an ox. 
And honestly, there's no stopping her in a fight. I saw it with my own eyes. If you want to get to Mary, deal with the pig first. Right. Noted. Um, what Moaski's name? What's your name? Ben. I used to run a barber shop. But that was then, and now it's gone. Everything's gone. Okay, um, how long have you been here? How long have you been here? Weeks, months, oh, I don't know. Everything's a blur. But I know one thing, I won't be here for much longer. Don't say that. Dude and doesn't want to be here. here. What? How do you... I saw you on the other side. Oh, yes. It's only a matter of time before we both cross over for good. Are we talking about Burnhouse Lane? Okay. So, you're a prisoner here? I think so, yes. My memory's fuzzy. And the worst part, I can't tell what's real from what's in my mind. I'm real. You're real? Right. What about the big spider? The one right behind you? What? What? No, that's not real. There's no spiders here. No, but it whispers to me. What? It says, you are mine. You are mine. You are. Stop it. You're hallucinating. Right, sorry. <laughs> right, I'm sorry about that. So tired. Go to sleep. Is there anything I can do for you? I. I'd love to give you a haircut before my time's up. I don't think that's possible. No? Why? You know why. <laughs> oh, right. You thought I meant here? No. Just find my other barber shop when you're ready. The one on Burnhouse Lane. Yeah. Burnhouse Lane? He was talking about Burnhouse Lane. How do you Lane? know about that? I keep dreaming about it. And in my dreams, I can walk and hold scissors again. But the shop's empty. No one ever comes. Please, will you come? It would mean a lot to me if you did. I mean... Sure. Yes, I'll come. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we need to go. I have to go. I don't know if yes. I, like, going through you all the questions is the best way to get a like good a ending. Bird. What is this? Search cupboard. There's one last needle left in the box. We have a needle. But there's no point in us doing the whole blood thing because that soup is not for her, it's for him. We saw that on the list. Okay, so what exactly should I do now? Should I set the clock for a different time now? Oh, hold on. I need to go downstairs because she's going to find out that the heart and that's not there. We're gonna go this way and we're gonna hide. Oh shit. Can you shut the door? Mrs. Willis. Miss. Miss. Willis. What do you want? My name is Detective Kagan, Ooh. and this is Detective Underseat. We just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Can we come in? Not really. I'm in the middle of something. You're not going to keep us out in this rain, are you? It's just a standard procedure. 
We won't take long. Oi! I said! You just barged in! That's rude! Very, very rude! We're looking for someone. A man. Tall, dark hair, in his forties. Goes She's by the like name... Shit. Benjamin Mitchell. What's that got to do with me? He's gone missing two months ago. So? Lots of people do. Right, of course. And when they do, it's our job to look for them. Yeah? Well, it's not to do with me. So go away and leave me alone. Is that blood on your fridge door? What? Oh, that. I... I had chicken liver for lunch. Ah, chicken. chicken liver. That's my favourite. His, his cops are stupid. Don't be disgusting, Dave. But that soup smells nice. We just said the smell You horrible. and your veggies? I just don't get you people. Look, I'm very busy. What? What's that sound? Did you hear that? Yes, like little feet tapping on the floorboards. Is there someone else in the house of you, Mrs. Willis? No. But someone's clearly walking upstairs. It's just the bloody rain tapping on the bloody window. It's the bloody rain tapping on the bloody Let's window. Let's take it <laughs> Wait. It stopped. They wouldn't stop just because the noise stopped. Oh. Oh. Don't say I didn't bloody warn you. Nobody see me. <laughs> Not that I'm it's complaining. Miss. Miss Willis. Why is it so hard to remember? What a mess. Now I'll have to clean up these two. Wow. But not without my cleaning tool. That's probably the chainsaw that we saw out in the shed. You're such a good pig, Jeremy. No, he ain't. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get pick up that gun. We need that gun. We need that gun. Shit. Looks like it's time for plan B. This character here, they've drawn her and she, she, she looks, I think I mentioned this before in another episode, like, is it R Ruth Wilson or Willis? Um, no, I need that! Yeah, she's an, she was an, an actress that was in Luther, the TV series about the detective, and she was a, a serial killer who killed her mum and dad um, and a few other people. Uh, but yeah, she's a really good actress. That's it. Pig's getting it. Sick of this pig shenanigans. Give me the gun, Jeremy. Yeah, I want the gun. Don't you dare. Come on. You don't need it. Don't Picks you dare. Picks up loose guns. I hope. Don't you dare put that down there. No. Stay away from that hole. Don't you dare. No. You shit. Great. 
You spiteful bastard. Yeah. You. Okay. All right, we still can't mess with the pig. Let's go. Now we need to go down there and get that. We need to save anyway. Can I go down and save? Because she's going to be in the way, right? Where is she? She's not got her tool yet. I'm hoping she's not going to be there. Oh. She didn't lock that door. Oh no! Don't tell me. It's already seven. Bloody hell, it's time for the soup! Oh, that soup was for the guy, Ben, upstairs. Uh, looks like you two ugly birdies will have to wait your turn. to be mad to eat those bloody things. Can we get the chainsaw? It's time for your soup, idiot. I'm not hungry. Oh, don't give me that. I've had a difficult day. I don't care. Oh, you don't care, do you? <laughs> That's what he said. I shit on you and your fucking soup. Oh, yeah? Didn't I bloody tell you? I'm having a difficult bloody day. Fuck you, bitch. She's going to pour that soup over him. Nice. Real nice. Right. Well. Here comes your soup. Whether you want it or not. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! There. It's done. Oh, something is. I won't have to put up with any of your dilly-dallying anymore. I don't know if we if we go up quick enough if we if we can. Oh no, it won't allow me to go back up since I've came down now. So I guess it's just one of those things. Wait a minute, what's this? He shares a fill of jars of pickles, cans of baked beans. Okay. Oh, it's a gas thing. Search quick. Search. Search. Quick. Search. How thick is it? Search. Too too long. that meant to happen? Why am I here in Burnhouse Line? Omar! Hmm? It's you again. Who else did you expect? Hi! You are right. Um... I've been better. Yeah, I can tell. You look like you're in some deep shit. I am. That's actually exactly what happened. I was in deep shit, but I'm okay now. What about you? How are things here? Well, I'll be honest. Things have been pretty fucked up lately. What's wrong? <sighs> it's Ruby. 
She's gone. Ruby? Another oh, escape. Fucking woman. The new big girl. From the cellar? Yeah. She went feral the other night. Just like destiny. So I closed the shop. There's no one here that needs my food anymore. Oh dear. I feel like I should leave, but I don't know where to go. Have you been eating? You look so skinny. With Ruby gone, I've lost my appetite. All this food in here, and I just feel sick looking at it. No. You're wasting I, away. I think Omar's... Um, you shouldn't worry about me. Coming Don't you have enough the problems of, of your time. own? Because I'm good. I'm okay. I'll go somewhere. Get some sleep. Yeah, that's what I need. A long... Long sleep with no dreams. No, 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 Omar. No, no, no. You can't just give up, you know. I'm not giving up. I've been defeated. Oh, well, and I've that's accepted. Kind of the same thing, what not? else can I do? Just wait. Be patient. Fight. Sooner or later, someone new will come along. And you'll make food for them. Isn't that what you want? No. Not anymore. I can see things clearly now, and I'm okay with all of this. Are you? I must go. We must all go, in the end. Okay. Where did Ruby go? The street, I think. I can hear the pounding of her feet at night sometimes. I just turn off the lights and hide. My advice. If you happen to bump into her, Make sure you have enough bullets on you. Oh dear. Or just run. That's what I'd do. She's slow as shit. Just dash past her and you'll be alright. Uh, okay. Any other threats out there that I should know about? Well, have you met the dead guys? Yeah. I met a whole bunch at the cemetery the other day. They looked like burnt corpses. And I'm pretty sure they wanted to eat me. What are they? <sighs> They're the poor sods who won't accept their fate. That's all. No. They were weak in life, and they're just as weak in death. Sometimes a single bullet is enough to bring them down. You still have your gun, yes? I wish. But no, I lost it. Well, I'm sure there's another one somewhere out there. Yeah, I was just about to get it. How do I get back now? Why? What's there to go back to? Would you understand if I told you? Hmm. You're right, I probably wouldn't. This place has been my home for as long as I can remember. But it's not mine. Not yet, anyway. All right, all right. I know just the thing. There's this guy. Ben. Ben the Barber. He said he was expecting you. Expecting me? Said we something about a haircut. Him, you two had an appointment? Not exactly, but... Well, his shop's here on Burnhouse Lane, just a few doors down from mine. The problem is the road is blocked. You'll have to go out the back door, then cut through the old swimming pool. Oh, that sounds but awful. no rush. Have a nice smoke first. Oh. I'll open the door when you're ready. Oh, if they're telling me to save it. Okay. Right. I'll have a smoke now. It's about time you quit. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there um, because I've been going for over an hour. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave me a like, leave me a comment. I'm also going to be start um, starting to do Twitch, guys, um, streaming games live um, because I kind of want to change this channel up a bit. Uh, so I will start posting uh, dates that I'm going to be going live on Twitch so you can catch me on Twitch and obviously I will still be doing videos here on YouTube as well. I hope you enjoy this episode guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.